Hi everyone, this is Boris. Welcome to uh, Sketchman Boris. I Today I wanted to teach myself how to draw. So the reason why I'm doing this is because first of all, I would like to draw with my left hand um, as well as I do with my right hand. Um, and um, the other thing is when you actually try to teach something, you actually learn like um, your own flaws. So, and actually, since I'm giving private lessons and doing workshops and so on, I'm kind of realizing that. Um, and I don't know, I, I still find teaching enjoyable, whether it's uh, me teaching um, languages or uh, drawing. Um, of course, I, <laughs> uh, I love teaching drawing. Um, so, what I'm going to do is uh, let's open up the sketchbook. So again, as usual, I just have a pencil and an eraser. Um, nothing uh, fancy. Oh, this is a the sketch I did on Sunday. So let me find a white paper. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach myself how to draw anatomy. Uh, basically and uh, what I'll do is um, I'll go through the the usual way I draw anatomy or I the way I simplify um, the hu anatomy, human anatomy and um, so I'll just split the so I'm trying to center my sketchbook um, I'll just split the page into two okay and I'll, yeah, so I'll draw with my left hand like this, and then I'll draw with my right hand like this. So what I'll do is, <laughs> this is going to be very, um, I'm going to show basically my left hand how to draw, and then my left hand, and I'm going to try with my left hand. Um, and as I go along, I just explain the process, um, how I see the different body parts and so on. Um, and by the way, I have started doing a series called Superhero Anatomy, where I actually cover these things. So uh, you can also check that out um, if you want more details on on how I actually. So in because I, I'm I'm talking about those videos because I actually take pictures, like um, uh, pictures of photo, uh, pictures of actors um, and uh, uh, comic book panels from, uh, and then I just break them down uh, to show you how um, I see them. So let's start with the head. So with the head, um, so this is usually come. I mean, not usually. This comes from Loomis method, or this is called the Loomis method. It's developed by someone called, if I'm not mistaken, Andrew Loomis. Um, so basically, he said that you could, because we all have a skull. If you want to draw the head, um, you need to start with uh, a ball for the cranial area. And um, of course, our head is not complete. It's not round. It's actually the temple, like the side, is is cut. So you just cut the side, okay. And um, so you know, you see, you see, see that you see. Um, I mean, uh, I'm losing my words. I'm still. You see, can still see the ball. Um, so if I. Um, uh, in a way at the middle of the ball so this is the area where the eyebrow will be and then I separate like this so that on either side you will see the eyes and um, the base of the ball will be the, the bottom of the nose and basically this size in here will give me the size for the chin and that will uh, I mean I'm, I'm cutting corners here but basically that gives you uh, the basic shape I use every time I want to draw a head and I usually start with the head because that allows me to give and keep an eye on the proportions um, and so the the size of the head will determine in a way um, how big I'm going to draw the rest of the body and in this case, I'm not going to draw the a pose. I'm going to draw the body parts individually. So you'll, I'll just draw the head here, the maybe the arm here, and, and so on. So I'm starting with the head. 
Um, now, okay, having done this, and I'm not going to go into detail, but <laughs> um, so the nose will be here, the eyes will be here, and the eyebrow, uh, mouth, somewhere between the nose and the chin, and and the ear will be here. Um, now this is the difficult part. I'm going to try it with my left hand. So I can't. This is so strange. I can't even do a circle. I mean, I'm doing this because for me to, in a way, put in in a, in a way, put myself in the students' shoes to actually sh see how difficult it is for them. And by the way, I've I've not I've not reversed this. I reversed this. I've not. I mean. So the history, if you want to know the secret history of uh, uh, Sketchpen, also aka Boris, um, I think I, I, so I started with my left hand actually, and <laughs> I mean, I, I, of course, like this is just, I, I don't, I'm not saying that this is the only reason I changed, but I remember um, I used to write the number five like this, for some reason only the number five. And I think the teachers asked my mom to change me to go from left-handed to right-handed because I think there was still a lot of, I don't know, a lot of things attached to people who are left-handed. So, so I always, you know, in my head, I always think that the number five changed my life in a way because it changed me from a left-handed guy to a right-handed guy. Um, <laughs> so, um, just this. Uh, short origin story there and um, so I think actually yeah I think I'm not bad um, so again I'm super again you can see like I'm just scratching <laughs> scratching uh, a way to actually find So the next part for the neck is basically uh, how I simplify the neck is uh, I just uh, do a, a cylinder, right? So I'm going to attach the neck here um, to sort of save some space uh, for the other body parts. So, so again, so the character is looking this way. Um, I think this one is going to be simple, just line like this. So this gives, uh, I, <laughs> I guess this gives a self-thought artist a new uh, dimension. I am really self-teaching. Uh, <laughs> if you believe in the self, because um, like Sam Harris says, there's no such thing as self, but, uh, or just one self, I guess. If you're really into that kind of philosophical uh, discussions. Um, so yeah, we have the head, we have the neck. Now, for the torso, um, so basically, what I'm, what we are trying to do is like some. some uh, Something to represent the rib cage and the uh, what I call the belly part. So I used to do the torso in one piece, which is um, like this, you know, like a big um, polygon, or I don't know how to call it. Like because you know, like if I separate the like this is the chest and uh, the belly um, and then I just realized that it um, it made my drawings a little bit stiff and um, and and all of many of these things I take from different artists and mostly from Jim Lee a uh, comic book artist and he actually he said that you know like one of the things to make a figure dynamic especially you want to do that when you're um, drawing comic books and superheroes and 
um, is that you know you have two points like the let's say the point or in the chest A so for example let's say this is A um, and then this is um, the pelvis area so let me draw it quickly as an underwear um, the way to make a figure dynamic like a Batman or a Daredevil is to actually twist those parts and then sort of stretch them as much as possible the gave example he gave is was um, uh, Jack Kirby of course it is it's even now if you look at his drawings like people are still scratching their head asking themselves like how was he able to achieve that kind of uh, those kinds of dynamic movements so anyway I'm, I'm still uh, I'm still working on it. So anyway, uh, but so all this to say that now I draw the um, the torso like this. So I, I sort of go with uh, the sort of, I don't know how to say this, but like a, yeah, like sort of an egg, but with a flat bottom, and then like a straight. Again, another cylinder here, but just a bit wider. Um, of course, this is for uh, male, so if you were to do a female, you would probably go a little bit deeper in uh, with the hourglass shape, and the torso will be a little bit uh, um, not not as wide, a little bit narrow, more narrow, narrower, that will narrow. <laughs> I should know this. So, yeah, so. I think so basically, yeah, we are building the model, right? Like, the, so, and this can be adapted to different body types, different um, characters. Something like that. You see that? This is the center of the torso. Now let's see my other side. <laughs> let's see if I can draw it on the other side. So I have the thing is I don't know, maybe it helps like this. <laughs> it almost feels like I'm I'm trying to like it's the first time I'm using the these muscles on my left hand. So I don't know. Probably need to. Actually, I was. I'm, I'm really surprised. Like I'm. I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm doing pretty good. So soon I can be. I'll, I'll be drawing cartoons with my left hand. It's just I don't have that same. I mean, obviously, I don't have that same, um, how do you call this, maniability, like the same, uh, but I mean, yeah, yeah, it's quite close. Um, okay, so we have the head, um, the neck and the torso. Now let's go to the arms. Um, again, we are, so, you know, we're not trying to become doctors here, so we're trying to simplify body parts, the muscles, the, the every, like everything in a simple way. So um, what I do, the, the, at the arms, I do them in three parts. I do the ball, which actually will come and attach itself here in this hole that I drew here, like an action figure. And then I attach a cylinder. And then I do this what I call the beer glass shape, if that makes any sense. So that sort of gives me the arm. So, for example, if I were to go a little bit further and add the muscles to show you how these can be turned into an arm, okay? So let me try this again. So the arm, um, again here, so <laughs> this is funny, um, 
I think everybody should try this. If you and if you're left-handed, try to draw with your right hand. But I think it's it's not even about the. I don't know. This is the feeling I'm getting when I'm drawing here. It's not about your. It's not even about which li limbs you use to draw. It's almost like the your brain actually. It's how well you can project that image that you want to draw onto the paper, and then basically it feels like I'm just tracing over it. If that makes any sense. Like, um, and of course, turn this into a. I mean, I think I guess I might be ambidextrous, if, if that's the real word or if that's the way you pronounce it. Just getting there. Um. <laughs> Um, so we did the uh, arm, now let's do the, oh God, I don't know how I'm going to do the hand, but anyway, um, I'm going to do the pelvis area, which is basically, um, I'm going to attach it here, just so that it makes sense. Um, it's basically what I describe to my students as a hard underwear, uh, basically. And by the way, um, the, the series of videos I referred to earlier about the superhero anatomy, I actually used Superman to illustrate this point, so if you guys want to check out this. Uh, so um, again, here, um, probably most of the people watching now I have switched on. By this point, just a guy drawing. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing. Actually, this is not really true because you wouldn't see the under side of. Um, oh yeah, my my the student is becoming the teacher because my left hand. I just realized when I drew it second time. That I don't really need that, so I just raised it so like student is teaching the teacher, so that's great. That's what I wanted. Um, so um, okay, now let's go to the legs. So for the legs, um, I don't have place here, so I'm going to draw here. And of course, um, just I'm just drawing the bars individually, so this is not the right proportion. Just keep that in mind. So I take this, the shape I drew here, um, and then I draw that, and I, I, I insert inside in a way, so basically this side is, this part of the ball is inside. And then a smaller version for the... Yeah, for the lower part of the leg. Okay. And now on to the left. Okay. So, again, um, I always tell my students take your time. Um, and you know, if anything goes wrong or if you if it doesn't feel right, you always have the eraser. So nowadays I carry my sketchbook everywhere because a lot of times um, when I have to go somewhere to teach, especially when I'm going to teach at companies, um, you know, I usually I like to get there early and 
you know, most people will say, yeah, what I'm going to, what am I going to do if I get there too early? Well, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw. So I always have my sketchbook with me, which is sometimes scary because it's scary because, um, especially when it rains. Okay. Um, okay. Now let's go to the foot. Um, so the foot basically it's if I have to. So it's a small oval and then a elongated oval. And then I just connect them like this to make a shoe shape. And that's basically my foot. I mean, not mine, but uh, I mean the way I draw it. Um, so again, so this allows me to understand if I'm looking at the foot from the front. Like, you know, I know that the. Uh, Something like this. It's diggy that oval is here. Right. Do you see that? Um, let me just draw this one. <laughs> let me try. I don't want to brag, but um, I think I'm doing pretty good. I think even better than this one because this one looks too pointy, like a almost looks like a bird's beak. Uh, but here, like yeah, I sort of flattened it as if, as if it was on a uh, flat floor. Um, so now let's go to the hands, um, which I think I can draw here, which is perfect. Oh, sorry, my right hand. Um, I'm just going to do a pose, like a simple pose like this. Um, I'm going to try to do it in 3D. So, and again, this technique I learned from Jim Lee, which is uh, to do this shape for the palm and then draw the fingers over that. So, let's see. Um, okay, something like that. Draw the index finger and then maybe match the size. Use that size again, like I do with the head for the rest of the body parts. Use the index finger as a reference point, and then yeah, and then you could. So what we're doing is that we're like you know thinking like a sculpt sculptor. So we're uh, putting on basic shapes, which we will then later use to sculpt into the shape or the, to fit the character or the subject we're drawing. Okay. Yeah, sort of something like that. Um, let me, actually, this area would be smaller. Again, going by instinct, instinct which you develop by drawing a lot. Um, yeah, I should be drawing more. Okay, so <laughs> the last test. Okay. I just had this idea when I was just walking home after grocery shopping and uh, you know if you have ideas like this do it because, because no one else will and even if they do they won't do it as well as you can can definitely see. So it's more the eye uh, uh, hand eye coordination as they say that matters more than the which hand you're using. 
my eye actually guides my hand, if that makes any sense. I don't know what about you, but I think that's that's pretty decent for uh, first time. Um, yeah, so I think everybody should try this. Um, so I hope this was <laughs> somewhat entertaining and uh, helpful, and it maybe gave you some ideas. And uh, it was also a good overview of all the body parts, the way I draw them. Um, Again, I'll, I'll do more videos, I'll go into detail in each one of them. So until next time, um, like, subscribe, share this video, and um, um, I don't know what to say other than this is Boris, Sketchman Boris, and I think I need more practice with my left hand. Um, so yeah, this is Boris, Sketchman Boris, uh, until next time, signing off.